Hey guys, Vidon Apps here. In this video, we're going to be discussing the MacBook Pro keyboard issue and alongside their keyboard recall. So, uh, my laptop had this issue where the keys started to feel sticky, and uh, once the laptop warmed up, it'll make high pitched noises. So, once Apple launched their repair program for the MacBook and MacBook Pro of the 2017 and 2016 generation, I decided to take my 2016 MacBook Pro in for the keyboard swap. So before the store took my laptop, um, they told me that they had done something to the dome switch underneath the butterfly key. So they said that this should theoretically prevent the problem from happening again. So I give my laptop and five business days later I get it back. And I receive it back from the Apple store. The first thing I'd noticed here, if we go ahead and zoom in, the control and option keys have their new symbols. These symbols are only on the 2017 model. So my first guess was they replaced it with the 2017 top case. They had to replace the whole top of the MacBook Pro. Another thing I noticed, the keys are much quieter from the previous keyboard that was on here. So here's a clip comparing the new keyboard and the old one. Now typing on these keys, the newer keys, feels much better, they are again quieter and the keys feel a bit raised from the MacBook Pro than before. So in my case again, I only had the sticky keys issue, but when I took my MacBook Pro in, on the Apple Care sheet it says key press repeats characters, which was not my case, but um, as you can see they did replace the top case with battery, and yeah. The real question is, did they fix the keyboard and prevent the issue from happening again? Yes. For now. What I mean by that is, hopefully this is a fix that will work. Um, I've put this laptop through uh, heat. I've done some video editing, which typically causes the keys to start sticking after laptop warms up. But the keys are not sticking now. Um, it seems as if the keyboard has been fixed. So it seems like Apple has done something to fix the keyboards. If you do have a 2016 or 2017 MacBook slash MacBook Pro and your keys are experiencing some problem, some sort of problem, then I would definitely go take it in. Again, the 2015 MacBook, basically the whole MacBook is compatible except the new ones and then the MacBook Pro from 2016 and 17. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Do, uh, do let me know in the comment section below if your MacBook slash MacBook Pro was having some sort of keyboard issue. And if you got it fixed yet, how did that experience go? Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, do join my Discord here. It's a chat group. It's open to anyone. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.